I guess we learned the first day was that we were not going to be assaulted in the hallways, that uh, we were going to be shunned. And that was the beginning, and it remained that way for three years. I got up that very next morning after my home was bombed, and I went back to school. Because if I had not gone, they would have felt like they had won. And we would sleep on the floor because there would be these, these I don't know, race disturbances. And there would be these concerns that the Ku Klux Klan would be active in the community and um, be throwing, uh, I think these things, uh, Molotov cocktails. Blacks were on one side of the street, whites were on the other side of the street. Uh, during the summers and the afternoons, we played together. And then, you know, when it was school time, I went one way, they went another way. She said, why? When I said I was going to college, why? And then I told her why, because that's what I'd been taught. And she had the nerve to tell me that I'd be wasting my father's money because all I could do would be to work in somebody's kitchen or clean somebody's house. The contours, we opened the show up. So we came out first, but before we went on stage, I forgot who it was, so you guys sing your first song. We did three songs. Sing your first song, you get through with the song, turn around and sing the song to the other audience. Say, what audience? Say, you sing the first song to the white audience, then turn around, sing the same song to the black audience, get through that song, turn back around to the white audience, sing the second song, turn around, sing the second song to the black. Except for those many people whose shoulders I stand on, those many people who died, those many people who, whose houses were burned, whose crosses were burned in their, their yards, who were jailed, who were beaten. Thanks to them, I ended up three doors down from the President of the United States, and I started out as a sharecropper's daughter. 